In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we come together to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. We praise and thank God for His goodness to us. And we continue to pray uh, for consolation during this time of pandemic. We pray for the uh, healing of those who are sick and eternal life for those who have died, especially because of this virus. And in a special way, we pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Beatrice and uh, this Alpan, who were both recently deceased. And to prepare ourselves for the celebration, we now humble ourselves before the Lord, aware of our weaknesses and sins. We ask the Lord now for the gift of forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joel. Priests, put on sackcloth and lament. Ministers of the altar wail. Come, pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. For the house of our God has been deprived of oblation and libation. Order a fast. Proclaim a solemn assembly. Elders, call together all the inhabitants of the country to the house of the Lord your God. Cry out to the Lord, Oh, what a day! For the Lord, for the day of the Lord is near. It comes as a devastation from Shaddai. Sound the trumpet in Zion. Give the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the country tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near. Day of darkness and gloom, day of cloud and blackness. Like the dawn there spreads across the mountains a vast and mighty host. Such has never been before, such as will never be again to the remotest ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm, the Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world in justice. I praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad, and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. The, the Lord, Lord will, will judge, judge the world with justice. justice. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. You have wiped out their name forever and ever. The nations have fallen in the pit which they made, their feet caught in the snare they laid. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. 
the prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had cast out a devil, some of the people said, It is true, Beelzebul, the prince of devils, that he cast out devils. Others asked Jesus as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils. Now if it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is, than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it wanders through waterless country, looking for a place to rest. And not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding it swept and tidied, it then goes off and brings seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and set up house there, so that the man ends up by being worse than he was before. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus said, He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. Well, Jesus uh, uh, already predicted overcoming evil, and he himself has been casting the devils. But unfortunately, it is uh, overcoming the devil does not mean to totally annihilate the devil, that there is no more temptation, there is no more uh, evil in the world. What Jesus actually is saying that, well, there is one way how to, uh, to overcome evil, that is, it is with us. We are now equipped with his power, with his presence, so that he who is not with me, as he said, is against me. That means for us to overcome evil, uh, well, we still have that free will. For us to overcome evil is to gather with Jesus. It is with Jesus' power that we are able to make good decisions so that he who does not make good decisions who does not join or gather with Jesus probably will be enticed by the devil by the evil one so it is the important thing for us is to gather with Jesus to be with him to be able to have that decision uh, as to uh, fulfill what Jesus has been teaching and that is the way we can overcome evil. So it's not totally annihilation of evil in the world. And in fact, even some uh, things, our intentions, we have to cleanse them. In our, our thinking, all our uh, intentions or uh, motivations, we have to uh, purify them. That's why it's always good to unite ourselves to Jesus, to be with Jesus, so that in that way we can make decisions which are 
of course, uh, uh, for the good, that is for God, and not for the, uh, for the evil one. So it is equipping us with that strength, with that uh, power, with that uh, uh, capacity or ability to make good decisions so that we can overcome evil. It is always a struggle for us, of course, that uh, we have to make good decisions. We have to uh, discern what uh, course of action we take in situations we are in. So to overcome evil is to make good decisions and decisions which are, of course, in accordance to the teaching and example of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray, brothers and sisters, that we may have that uh, uh, enlightenment in our decision making, in our actions, so that we'll always make a good good decision. Uh, that is, of course, in accordance to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as we continue to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we also continue to pray for those uh, people who are experiencing troubles during this time of pandemic, that even with this crisis, they will always hold on to the Word of God, to the teachings of our Lord Jesus, so that we can move on with strong faith. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this bread to offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all Christ, and for through your goodness we have received this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work in which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to our Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and our angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, 
broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sanded, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I should enter under my roof. Holy side the word, my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I always desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart. And I embrace you as I believe you are already there and I unite myself wholly to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we, into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated the Holy Eucharist. We go now in. 